on guys it is your boy forever one ghost here coming back at you with a brand new anime review video today i'm going to be reviewing clan at after stories now i did this with a good friend of mine named crumb who is the homie but unfortunately he is not here with me today to record this video so i'm going to be doing it on my own hopefully you don't you guys don't mind it so i'm going to start from where we left off where we remember nagisa was getting confessed by tomoya saying that he had loved her and wanted to go out with her so at the end, he started. she started tearing up, started crying, and decided nothing of it and just, just accepted it, I guess, because at the end, she didn't say much. So towards season two, this is season two, Clan at After Stories, is where they start talking about the lives of Tomoya and Nagisa, how they lived together, how they were towards the end. Um, the first episode, if you guys remember it, it was the baseball game where Nagisa's dad, Akio, said to Tomoya, could you help get me a baseball team to play against the other town's team, which is the teams of of their 10 or 12 players against their 10 or 12 players, excuse me, on the other side of the team. So what they did was they collected the players where he collected the old members of the drama club to help play the baseball game with the dad so that they could have a, a good game or have some fun. So they did that, and uh, towards the end, they did a good game. They ended up winning, which is where at the end they start celebrating. They start eating, having a good time, talking, which is fantastic. So right around now is right back where they're going back to high school because this is towards summer break where they're finishing up high school, and then after high summer, they're going to go right back to it to finish and graduate. That was obviously Tomoya's plan to graduate with Nagisa and finish their high school together. So it, it was pretty... Pretty insane to see that, you know, and to see such a very powerful anime like it, you know, be in such a position like that, told like that. It, it was incredible. But aside from that, after they started going back to high school, you know, they started going back. They started trying to, you know, be together more and spend time together even more. So... What had ended up happening was Nagisa ended up getting sick towards more or less the middle of the end of the year where they were going to graduate, where then Tomoya was kind of very sad because he did not want to leave without her to graduate together. So he ended up saying he wanted to break a glass or something to stay another year. And he told Akio that he wanted to stay with her to end the year together, together graduating. And he ended up saying he would do something to jeopardize that. And he said, you better not do that because... She would be sad and then you would end up regretting it later. And towards that end, I kind of agreed too. Because why would you want to do something that she would be very sad to see that you have done? But I guess we would not know. Because I'm pretty sure she would have forgave him either way. Because I know that she knows that he knows that he loves her so much. That he would do what he could to be with her. To help her in any means necessary. Now, what I felt was to me a very heartfelt moment where is. When Nagisa sees him coming back from school in their old high school uniform, and it, it was it was insane. It was it was insane, and it was kind of very sad too because like when she saw him walking by her or by obviously it was in front of her obviously, she started seeing him. She was so happy, and he ended up crying on her arms, saying, "I'm so sorry." I wish we would have graduated together. I am so sorry. And she was so happy for him. She said, you didn't have to apologize. And then they ended up walking together up to the school a little bit, or even not even far, maybe towards the school. And they were so happy. They were excited. They were, they were, you know, it, it was, it was a very, very awesome moment in that sense. So right after Tomoya had graduated, he decided he wanted to get a job and the father, which is Akio offered him the job to help them both with, the mom Sinai and helped them in the bakery. So he was very happy. He was helping them. He didn't even care about anything else, but helping to help Nagisa because she was going to go back and she wouldn't have most of her friends. There's some friends will still be there. People that they know and such. So it, it, was, it was, it was a heartfelt moment too, because it was a moment where she was happy and clarity and, and everything was, was making the most sense to her and him. So right around now, she's starting to go back to high school and she started seeing some changes, how people were treating her and how they couldn't reassemble the drama club because a lot of people didn't want to join it. 
And she ended up just, you know, trying to lie to Tomoya. And he was a little upset about that. And he said, you don't have to lie to me. What's going on? She ended up saying that it's been a little bit rough, but it would be okay. And I kind of understood too, because as they were getting closer and she ended ended up going to high school on her own without anybody that she would know, it it was tough. And I, I kind of agreed as well because they wanted to do the best they could together as a family. And it, it was tough. It was very tough. And at times I could only imagine what they could do to help one another. It was it was a very sad moment. And Troy was the time where she ended up almost graduating. She ended up getting sick. So to the point where she couldn't go. But she had enough credits to graduate regardless. And that was fine. And Tomoya was very happy that they could be together again. Together without having to be separated while she was going excuse me, to high school every day. And such and such. So towards that point, I was kind of happy. Um, I felt like towards this... It kind of went even further to the love that they felt for one another, which made it so that I fell in love with the story even more. And I always say that if you're in love with a story that makes the most sense and you find it that it hits you right in the the gut or it it hits you right in the heart, you want to watch it and enjoy it as much as you can possible. Now, I did a review of this a long time ago, but the reason I'm going back to it again because I felt like I wanted to go more in depth with the story of this of this show, Clan at itself being that it's one of my favorite shows and a lot of many of you's favorite shows, including that of my own, and seeing such great characters develop from the twins and uh, Tomoyo, Tomoyo and I forget her name. I'm so sorry, but I, if you do, if you remember her name, leave in the comments below. But all of them, you know, developing into the point where in season one they all fell in love with Tomoya. You know, and all of them were expressing their versions of how they liked him. And, you know, being that so that they were all in, in love with him to some degree that ended up saying that towards the end in season one, they all lost because Nagisa won. He just knew that Nagisa was it. There was no one else that could replace Nagisa. Like you, you could absolutely try your damnest. But I almost felt like we all knew Nagisa was going to win. You couldn't stop it. And that's why... I knew that when in season two that they would go together, become, you know, even more and and, and such. Here's a scene right here where I was mentioning before where they were walking together and she ends up grabbing his hand. And, and it was a very powerful moment towards that when he was coming out of, the, out of school and they were together and he was graduating and he has the flowers in his hand. And I feel like this is one of those moments that I loved so much because... This is where they even they kind of grew together even more stronger, uh, more like a stronger bond, and it made me happy. And this is one of the moments that I I cannot express to you very heartfelt. It damn near made me cry, and it did because it told uh, such a great uh, a moment in in that time of of the scene where they were coming together. But anyway, guys, I do highly recommend you watch this anime if you guys have not seen it. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. It's a very good story, very good anime. I recommend it to all those. Uh, Be prepared to cry because it's a very powerful story and it tells such a great and well-told story. And I do recommend you guys check it out. Definitely a 10 out of 10, a definite top five. I recommend it to all to watch it because I know there's a lot of animes that are very edgy and kinky that that, that I recommend to no one because that that is not what anime is. Anime is more meant to be a very awesome version of adult cartoons to our sense of the matter where it tells a very awesome and beautiful story where it it, it kind of is for the the more adult version of people i guess and i know it makes no sense i'm just trying to very much so interpret what i feel about it but it's a very good show i recommend it to everybody it's a very powerful show i recommend as i said before and be utter but anyway guys thank you guys so much for stopping by this video make sure to slap a like and make sure to subscribe if you guys want more content like this and make sure to leave in the comments below what other anime review to do if you guys want i will try to watch a new anime and review it watch it clearly a couple times and then i will review it for you but as always guys stay awesome stay blessed and as always keep watching anime and make sure to support the channel peace